Hello agents and welcome back to Boosted Gaming. So today we have a brand new build video for you. This is actually going to be a healer hybrid and it's going to maximize damage output while also giving you the ability of not just healing just you but also your team. So let's dive straight into it. So taking a look at this you can see we've opted for the technician specialization because it's going to give you an additional skill tier and because it gives you an additional 10% healing if you opt for that path with this specialization. So you can swap around either damage or healing. I opted for healing on this. You can see that we've gone with the mechanical animal, uh, primarily because it brings future perfection. Uh, weapon kills grant one skill tier for 19 seconds that stacks up to three times. Any weapon kills at skill tier six will grant you overcharge. So if you've already got three skill tiers like we have now, you can get up to three more, but then any kill you get after that will actually put you into overcharge. So that's something nice to know. So three skill tiers, and then you get to your six, and as soon as you hit your six, any other kill after that automatically gives you overcharge. So that's fantastic. Um, secondary weapon, you can see we've opted here just for a baker's dozen. You can really go with anything you want here, SMG, shotgun. Uh, Scorpio might be a good shout out because it gives you additional survivability as well. You can see we've opted for the TDI card custom. This is our pistol. This is what we always go with because it brings with the in sync as well as the skill tier. So if you're operating with directives on, this will give you an additional skill tier on top of that just to make it that much more flexible for you. Going into the actual gear pieces though, and this is where they all kind of shine. You can see we've opted for a Seska mask. The Seska mask brings with it 10% critical hit chance. You can see we've got pretty much max rolled on it. And then you can see we've actually given it repair skills of 20%. So that's what we want to kind of focus on is repair skills with our reds. Going into the actual chest piece, you can see we've gone here for a sacrifice. This is a providence piece. It brings... With it, weapon damage, headshot damage with a one piece. This also got 19.6 repair skills already on it. We rolled some critical hit damage into it. The talent on it is perfect glass cannon. All damage you deal is amplified by 30% and any damage you take is amplified by 60. So that's just something to keep in mind, guys, that we're going to be outputting a lot of damage, but at the same time, we can also be taking a lot of damage. Going into our actual holster here, you can see we've opted for a Fenris piece. This is going to give us a 10% assault rifle damage buff, as well as, again, seeing critical hit damage, weapon damage, and then repair skills of 20%. Going to our actual knee pads here, we've opted for a Grupo Sombra. This is going to give us 15% critical hit damage. You can see that we've rolled off the core attribute of uh, weapon damage, and we've actually rolled in a skill tier. This had critical hit damage on it as well as weapon handling. Weapon handling being a, a good thing for everything. So it's going to give me 7.5% for reload. Uh, all kinds of different things, guys, right? So that's one nice thing about weapon handling is it doesn't cover just one thing. It covers a bunch of different fields. Going into the actual gloves here, you can see we've opted for the Alps Summit uh, armament gloves. So these ones bring with them 20% repair skills as well as a skill tier. And then you can see we've got some skill haste in there, and we also rolled some skill repairs on there as well. Going into the actual backpack here, you can see that we've opted for the uh, the gift. This is another provenance piece. So you can see we've got both named provenance pieces, the chest as well as the backpack. You can see this one has weapon damage, critical hit chance, critical damage, and critical hit damage again for the mod. Now you can see the backpack is all red, which is perfectly fine because again, we're trying to give us that little bit of weapon damage and overall hitting ability. Getting into the actual talent brings with it perfect vigilance, increases total weapon damage by 25% and taking damage disables the buff for three seconds. So again, guys, that's just something to keep in mind that anytime you are taking damage, this will not be active. Also, anytime you take damage, you'll be getting it amplified by 60% because of the actual chest piece. So two things to keep in mind with that. But at the same time, because we have two pieces of provenance, not only do we get the headshot damage of 15%, but we also get critical hit chance of 10%. And that's what we needed. We need something to not only give us that chance, but the damage as well. Going into the skills, you can see we've opted for a drone. This is more to be a nuisance more than anything else. Um, if you want, you guys can also run... Um, uh, like any kind of hive you can run you can run anything else you really want um, you can run a shield um, again 
it's entirely up to you. I run the drone just so it's a nuisance. Uh, I've also seen a lot of people uh, that run <clears throat> the decoy as well. So just something to keep in mind. This You can really run anything you want. Going in here, you can see we've opted for the chem. Now, the reason we opted for the chem is one, because it brings with it a whole lot more healing power. Um, but two, it's something that, you know, you don't have to worry about picking up or destroying. You don't have to worry about waiting for the actual, um, the actual micro repair drones that have to come out and repair you. So you can see here that with a hive, uh, we have about 216,000 healing. If we swap over to the cam, you can see we've got 730,000 healing. And honestly, guys, that's way better. And it's not just good for you. It's also good for your team because now you can shoot them from across the map if you had to and potentially heal them. Uh, as you can see in the gameplay here, I've actually done that to my teammate a couple of times just to try to help him pick up the guy that fell on the ground. Um, going into the actual stuff here guys and this is what you guys are really curious about you can see here we've got a critical hit chance of just about 52 percent which isn't bad considering we don't have a whole lot of chance rolled into everything and the cap is only 60 so if anybody's running a coyote um you're automatically gonna get pushed over which is fantastic but at the same time having 52 percent critical hit chance is better than having no critical hit chance you can see we've got 160 percent critical hit damage which is still pretty solid for a hybrid build uh, and it still hits very very hard um, you can see here that we've only got 68% all weapon damage bonus a 40% AR damage bonus 15% for LMGs and some machine guns but again you can always swap that to shotguns and I think that if you guys were to use the Scorpio I think you guys would find that it would be um, a really good addition to this overall setup especially because it's hitting with this current build out over 800,000 per shot and it brings with it a fantastic talent called septic shock so that's that right there would be another solid shout out to run with this build instead of a baker's dozen especially because you're going to be in close quarters so something to take into mind guys but i like the scorpio for other things so eh, each their own but anyways, guys, that's it for the build. Hopefully you guys like it. Hopefully you guys enjoy this build. It's a fun little build to have. Um, it makes gameplay so much more fun. And it gives you that little bit of team-oriented gameplay as well as while keeping you alive, helping to keep your team alive, while also dealing a ton of damage. So if you like the video, hit that like button. Hit that sub button, guys. I look forward to bringing you guys some more builds. There's a bunch of new stuff coming up. The brand new event just launched. I think it's called Shade Exposed. That launched today, so make sure you go check that out. And guys, until the next video, y'all stay classy. I'm out. Peace.